Stress hormones called CRFs can cause inflammation in the gut and affect the diversity and health of the microbiome in our intestinal tracts. Research in mice has found that exposure to stress led to an overgrowth of certain types of bacteria while simultaneously reducing microbial diversity in the large intestines of stressed mice. Due to our strong gut-brain access, a stressed gut can cause depression and other psychological disorders by reducing essential neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin, of which 95% are produced in our large intestinal tract. Increased levels of cortisol have also been linked to stage 2 diabetes and obesity. This stress hormone accumulates reserves of fat around organs, especially in the abdominal region, while also forcing the pancreas to produce more insulin. If continued for long periods of time, the insulin-producing beta cells become worn out, which causes the onset of stage 2 diabetes. As the HPA system becomes depleted from excessive and prolonged activation, we are unable to produce healthy amounts of stress hormones, which are essential to feeling energized and focused. This is typically known as adrenal fatigue. A number of studies have also shown that high levels of chronic stress can shorten the telomeres found at the end of each of our chromosomes. Scientists have also shown that shortened telomeres are clear signals of cell deterioration with some scientists stating that the length of our telomeres can determine the length of our lifespan. In conclusion, stress is something we have to address on a daily basis. When managed properly, it facilitates a positive physiological response that helps us respond effectively to the demands and threats that we encounter. However, if the fight or flight response is prolonged, usually through emotionally driven perceived threats, and the body and mind can experience a multitude of diseases that deplete our well-being and vitality.